Caillou, thanks for inviting me to go camping in the forest this weekend. This is something I've never done since we were in the eighth grade. No, thank you for accepting the invitation. Now, let's have some dinner before we go to sleep. And then tomorrow, let's have a picnic by the lake. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, what are you two doing? Hello, Miss Martin. Can we help you? Yes, you can start by getting up and leaving this forest. And no one is allowed to camp here except for me and my friends. So I suggest you pack your belongings and leave before I call the police. But this is a designated camp area, and Caillou and I are spending the weekend here. Besides, the forest is a public destination, and I am certain that you don't own it, do you? I think you'll find out that I do, so I suggest that you two get up and take that tent with you, and get out of the forest, otherwise, you're not going to like what is about to happen in the next 30 minutes. Now, just you listen to me you entitled Karen. First of all, you can't make us leave the forest because we were here first, and like Dora said, this is a designated campground, and this is public property. Who in the world do you think you are? Hey, how dare you talk back to me like that? You have really done it this time, bald boy. You and Dora are going to pay for how you spoke to me. I'm going to confiscate that tent from you for 90 days. Wait, what? You can't do that. Oh, you're wrong. Because I now have the authority to confiscate tents from people who go camping in my forest without my permission. Move out of the way so I can take your tent. I am sorry, Miss Martin, but we are not moving out of your way, because there is no way you're going to take our tent from us. Besides, that is my dad's tent, and it cost around $300. I don't care about that, one way or another. You deserve to have that tent taken away because you were camping on my property and speaking very rudely to me. Now, if you will kindly move out of my way, because I need to confiscate that tent. Since you won't move out of my way, I guess I have no choice but to remove both of you so I can take the tent. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. And stay in the timeout corner for 10 minutes. You've been very bad today. Miss Martin, for crying out loud, who do you think you are? We're in college, not preschool. Shut up, Dora, for talking back to me. You two go to the timeout corner for 10 minutes. I'm not going to do what you tell me to do. Fine, then go to the timeout corner for 20 minutes, and I am also going to extend the time Caillou is in timeout. You two need to learn yourself some manners, okay? You know what? We're going to get a park ranger or call the police because you're not leaving us alone. And not to mention, you're trying to take a lot of our things. Stand back so I can take that tent. Miss Martin, what are you doing? Seriously. Give us back our tent right now. For disobeying the park rules, you may not have your tent back for 90 days. Hold it right there. No, not you again, Boris the Teeth Guy. Somebody please help me. Face my teeth, face it. Why I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I am here to stop you and all the entitled Karens from bothering ordinary citizens. And I have a friend coming to tell you why. Kidding. Kevin, we meet again for the first time since you broke up with me. That's right, Miss Martin. I teamed up with Boris the Teeth Guy so that we can stop you and your entitled Karen friends from causing chaos for everyone. Like I said, you have to be kidding. No, we can assure you that we're not joking. Now can we say something? Sure, go ahead. We suggest that you leave Caillou and Dora alone and give them back their tent, or else Boris is going to yell very loudly. You can't tell me what to do. I am a Karen, and I get to do whatever I want, and the rules do not apply to me. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to take Caillou and Dora to the park ranger police. Okay, that does it. You have asked for it. I'm going to bring the tent back to Caillou and Dora. Boris the teeth guy, yell at Miss Martin. 
Good work, Boris. I knew that with your loud voice, you would get rid of an entitled. No problem, Kevin. How are you and Dora? Like I promised, here is your tent. Thank you so much. Without your help, my dad would have gotten angry with me. Anytime.